They help people find their gift, their talents. They help them release their fruit. Also, unique about a tree, once a tree brings forth its fruit, the tree never brings the fruit to you. It attracts you to the fruit. So when you discover your gift and you begin to manifest your gift, you attract followers. True leaders never seek followers. They attract them. Nelson Mandela never asked anyone to follow him. Martin Luther King never asked anyone to follow him. They simply discovered a passion, a gift, a, 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 a vision, a dream, and decide to personally pursue it. That attracted people to them. Doc, say that again. True leaders never ask? True leaders never seek followers. Hmm. They attract followers to their vision, their passion, and their fruit. Okay, you're in Kenya now. You just come from Tanzania, but I'll get to that. But Kenya now, yes. looking at the environment, yes. what do you see? You know, I think the first thing we need to appreciate is that our, our educational system is based on a curriculum that needs to be adjusted. Most of our curriculums in schools in the developing countries are based on preparing a person to get a job. I would like to see us adjust it to prepare them to get a business. Now it may sound simple, but it's two different mentalities. We actually prepare people to be employed, not to be deployed. So the environment does not stimulate this, the seed to germinate to become a tree. We basically train people to remain seeds, but to remain good seeds, who never become a forest. I was born in that same educational system. I had to re-educate myself. I had to realize that the creator hit your future where he knew you couldn't miss it. I want to say to everyone watching this program, you may be in a, in a poor village with a television looking at this program. Maybe you are frustrated, don't have a job. Listen to me carefully. The creator designed everything in a unique way where its future is trapped on the inside. For example, in every seed there's a tree. In every bird born to fly, there's flight. Birds never attend flight school. <laughs> the flight is built in. Every fish was designed to swim. Fish never attend swimming schools. They swim in schools, but they don't attend swimming schools. <laughs> the swim is built on the inside. In every human being, there is a future trapped. So your future is not ahead of you. It's trapped within you. We keep looking for our destiny when in fact our destiny is screaming at us saying, let me out. So your greatness is not ahead of you, it's trapped within you. What you need to do, just like the seed, is to put yourself in the right environment. This show to me is like fertilizer to somebody's seed tonight. Absolutely. It's like pouring water on someone's dream that was dead. I'm here to germinate your greatness so you can burst forth and to become the tree of life you're supposed to be and then feed your fruit to the world. And by the way, your fruit was never given to you for you to eat. <laughs> no tree eats its own fruit. Everything you were born to do is for someone else. Look at your gift, Jeff. Imagine you sitting in your house 24 hours a day doing this to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to yourself, you know, this is crazy. I, I, I've, I've tried that. Actually. Your gift is for us. Whatever you were born to do is for all of us. Mm. So you can always tell when you have a, your, your vision that is correct. People ask me, how do you know what a true vision is? My answer, a true vision never benefits the visionary. It benefits others. Your joy is when other people are positively impacted by what you give them. Yeah. So a tree gives its fruit away because that's the purpose of its existence. What you were born to do is to feed others. Once you feed them, they in turn bring back and give you fertilizer. Mm, that's that. called prosperity. No job would ever give you prosperity. Only your work would give you prosperity. You don't prosper from your, work, from your job. You prosper from your fruit. Most people who become successful had to, had to leave their jobs. Case in point, flight attendant, okay? So, you know, I was a, I was a government administrator yeah. making 12,000 US dollars a year. Now I make that in one, one hour. I could have still been there, <laughs> you Absolutely. Know? but I had to step out and believe that what I had was on the inside of me. And I want everyone to know this. Whatever you were born to do already exists, but it's trapped on the inside. And you've got to perhaps create your own environment for it. That's what I did when I read those four books in the Bible. I created my own environment. I had to change my friends. Sometimes the folks who are with you are pollution mm. instead of fertilizers. For you to become great, you gotta change the company you keep. You, if you poor and I'm poor, we're bad friends. Somebody gotta have something, yeah. you know? So you, you, 
you always want to be around people who would force you to believe in your dream, they pull on your dream, they encourage you to believe that it's possible, and you want to be around people who stimulate your vision, who stimulate your ideas. If you are the smartest person in the group you are with, it's time to leave the group. And seek others. Don't be around people who you are smarter than because they ask you questions but you, don't, you never learn from them. Be around people who cause you to think bigger, dream bigger, believe bigger, act bigger. Be around people who draw on your dream because you want people to pull out of you who you really are.